This part of the Mississippi has been a real eye-opener. In the same way that a healthy body can fight off infection, it seems that a healthy river can pretty much look after itself. So, a resistant river needs its native fish. But I've seen worrying reports that the Mississippi's backwaters, the very places where lots of its fish like to breed, are turning into death traps. Still in Minnesota, I'm going to get my first glimpse of a growing and occasionally lethal menace. Those waters are having a problem with massive algae blooms. They can be quite dangerous. Algae are plant-like organisms that are usually harmless, but which, in excess, can be deadly. In 2014, Toledo actually had to shut down the water supply to a city of 500,000 people because of an algae bloom that was toxic. My pilot, Dave Nelson, grew up on the Mississippi. Now retired, he's a man on a mission. What I'm trying to do is take aerial pictures that would show when the algae blooms are happening and relate that to temperature, rainfall, and other factors that could be causing the algae to be a problem. Sometimes the algae is toxic, but it's very difficult to tell. Even in tiny amounts, some algal toxins can cause vomiting and diarrhea in humans. Take a look to the right. Oh, yes. My bird's eye view is giving me a real sense of the scale of the problem. It's just so clear from up here. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing, the extent of the algal blooms, mostly in the back channels, but also in the main river. And this isn't even the high summer when the problem is at its worst. The backwaters are often just solid green. Looks like you could walk on them. Flying with a purpose, is that important for you? It's very important to me because as we mess with our ecology, we mess with our future. To find out how the blooms are affecting the Mississippi's fish, I need to get into the backwaters. Mm -hmm. 